Namaste. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. Mian and Nam Anjali Hey. And today we're going to be watching part of the video from Christopher Ray, who is the FBI director here in the US, He's talking about ways we can hold the Chinese Communist Party accountable. Um, you know, we've done many, many things on this channel, if you haven't already seen, from, you know, the COVID-19 issues to new viruses that have been coming out these last few days. Um, we've done, you know, Trump talked about different things that they've lied on patents, that they've lied on trade deals. We saw them at the border bending the rules, you know, yeah. one thing after the other. We've seen it in our own mailbox. We got mail from China that didn't have a full address, didn't have a person's name on it, and was something different on the inside that was on the outside. Um, you know, one thing after the other. And mainly... It's the Chinese Communist Party that have done a lot to silence their own people. They've tried to take in over like Tibet, Hong Kong, Taiwan, and it goes on and on and on. Um, you know, silencing people and taking countries that don't belong to them. And it needs to stop. And hopefully, you know, India started the ban on the apps. It's gotten the border secure. So hopefully this is a new start. Hopefully we can follow India. We can follow India and ban the apps and start making them accountable. You know, it's not free trade. It needs to be fair trade. Yeah. Um, you know, we need to get an investigation in there. Where is the resolution on an investigation on at least COVID-19? where hundreds of thousands of people have died and millions of people around the world have been affected. You know, there needs to be some answers. And yeah. we're hoping that we can, being one of the leaders of the world, can start paving the path, you know, hopefully this Tibet bill goes through and hopefully he has some good thoughts, you know, um, on other ways they can hold the Chinese Communist Party accountable for all that's been going wrong. Yeah. The greatest long-term threat to our nation's information and intellectual property and to our economic vitality is the counterintelligence mm -hmm. and economic espionage threat from China. And today, in light of the importance of this threat, I will provide more detail on the Chinese threat than the FBI has ever presented in an open forum. This threat is so significant that the Attorney General and the Secretary of State will also be addressing a lot of these issues in the next few weeks. But if you think these issues are just an intelligence issue or a government problem or a nuisance largely just for big corporations who can largely take care of themselves, you could not be more wrong. It's the people of the United States who are the victims of what amounts to Chinese theft on a scale so massive that it represents one of the largest transfers of wealth in human history. If you're an American adult, it is more likely than not that China has stolen your personal data. We've now reached the point where the FBI is opening a new China-related counterintelligence case about every 10 hours. Of the nearly 5,000 active FBI counterintelligence cases currently underway across the country, almost half are all related to China. For generations, people have journeyed from China to the United States to secure the blessings of liberty for themselves and their families. And our society is better for their contributions. So when I speak of the threat from China, CCP, I mean the government yeah. of China and the Chinese Communist Party. We need to be clear-eyed about the scope of the Chinese government's ambition. China, the Chinese Communist Party, believes it's in a generational fight to surpass our country in economic and technological leadership. Now that's sobering enough, but it's waging that fight not through legitimate no, innovation, not through lives. fair and yeah. lawful competition, and not by giving yeah. their citizens the freedom of thought and speech and creativity that we treasure here in the United States. Instead, China is engaged in a whole-of-state effort to become the world's only superpower 
by any means necessary. Take the case of scientist Hong Jin Tan, for example, a Chinese national and American lawful permanent resident. He applied to China's Thousand Talents program and stole more than one billion, that's, crazy. that's with wow. a B, worth of trade secrets from his former employer, an Oklahoma-based petroleum company, and got caught. A few months ago, he was convicted and sent to prison. Or is there, there's the case of Shan Shi, a Texas-based scientist, also sentenced to prison earlier this year. She stole trade secrets regarding syntactic foam, an important naval technology used in submarines. She, too, had applied to China's Thousand Talents program and specifically pledged to digest and absorb the That's relevant crazy. technology yeah. in the United States. He did this on behalf of Chinese state-owned enterprises, which ultimately planned to put the American company out of business and take over the market. In one of the more galling and egregious aspects of the scheme, the conspirators actually patented in China the very manufacturing process they'd stolen and then offered oh, their victim God, American really? company a joint venture using its own stolen technology. Yeah. We're talking about an American company that spent years and millions of dollars developing that technology, and China couldn't replicate it, so instead it paid to have it stolen. Since 2014, Chinese General Secretary Xi Jinping has spearheaded a program known as Fox Hunt. Now, China describes Fox Hunt as some kind of international anti-corruption campaign. It is not. Instead, Fox Hunt is a sweeping bid by General Secretary Xi to target Chinese nationals whom he sees as threats and who live outside of China, across the world. We're talking about political rivals, dissidents, and critics seeking to expose China's extensive human rights violations. Hundreds of these fox hunt victims that they target live right here in the United States, and many are American citizens or green card holders. The Chinese government wants to force them to return to China, and China's tactics to accomplish that are shocking. For example, when it couldn't locate one fox hunt target, the Chinese government sent an wow. emissary to visit the target's family here in the United States. The message they said to pass on, the target had two options, return to China promptly or commit suicide. That's crazy. Yeah. It is crazy the amount of things that they have stolen billions of dollars worth of information yeah. and then they steal information and then try to sell it back to the company that made it in the first place but didn't get a chance to patent it before china stole it and patented it first now china doesn't follow the patents we've heard trump say this before no and for them this is like when we gave them the medicine for the coronavirus yeah they tweaked it and then they patented it and then they were trying to sell and then it they back. were like oh it's ours now mm-hmm yeah so out of the goodness of our hearts we sent them medicine thinking and i know other people sent, sent them masks they sent respirators there was a lot of things sent to china to help them and they were like oh now these are mine now and i'm gonna patent them. them i'm gonna patent this medicine that because you were working on it and you hadn't done it yet and now i'm gonna send people over so they get the coronavirus and now you have to buy our masks and our medicine for more money yeah yeah, we know how this works. We've seen it time and time again. It's not it's not the first time. Like we said, our mail was a flat out slap in the face for us. Not only did it seem like a threat, but it came with no name, not a full address. And it came twice. That's twice. the thing. Both times said they were earrings. Both times were not earrings. The second time we didn't open it, we returned it to the sender. So hopefully they get the message. But this is crazy. Now he is saying that almost every, pretty much sounds like almost every adult here in the U.S. have had their information stolen from China. So yeah. if you have TikTok on your phone and you haven't taken it off yet and you're delete here in the U.S., it. please delete it. Because it is just feeding information straight to the Chinese Communist Party, straight to them. We All just of your information on your phone, iPad, whatever you have is going to the Chinese Communist straight Party. Straight to the Chinese Communist Party. So check stuff, 
before you buy, this is the one thing we've said here is the one thing you can do is take things like these apps off your phone that they're taking information. Yeah. You can check for stuff before you buy it. Don't See buy stuff made. that's made in China. Yeah. Use your wallet and, and write to your representatives. He didn't really say, I kind of was expecting some, this is what we're going to do answers, but maybe that he said stuff is coming out through the president and through um, Pompeo. But this we know, if they're saying something, that means they're going to do something big. They're going to go on so. through a plan. We hope they follow suit, at least with banning the apps. That would be the they first thing. They need to thing. follow India. Um, we need to tighten, uh, apparently, letting people in. I, I don't know, like, we know there are a lot of really good Chinese citizens that come yeah. here that obviously are also being threatened, um, that come here for the freedom of speech. They come here for a better life. I don't believe every single one of them is a bad seed. I know there are always, like, you know... Um, People who support the Chinese Dalai coming. Lama said there's always going to be some bad seeds, but... We need to find those quicker than after they've already sold a billion dollars worth of information yeah. out to the Chinese Communist Party. There's got to be a way to weed them out a little bit better and still let in good people that want to be good citizens here. We are not against the Chinese people that come because here for a better Because they cannot life. speak for their own. They cannot speak out because if they speak out, they suddenly disappear. Yeah, and apparently here, even if they're here in the U.S., people they get come threatened. to their door and they get yeah. threatened. So we are not against the, the good people that come here for a better life. We are against the Chinese Communist Party. And the and people the way, who support the Chinese yeah, Communist Party. And the Party. way they've kind of kept the world with blinders over their eyes. And somehow we've let them get away with one thing after the other because they don't follow the rules. But it needs the to way stop. other these countries do. Like India is a democracy. It follows the rules. U.S. is a democracy. There's certain rules. Like we worldwide say like if somebody patents this we respect it where chinese they don't they don't like they don't follow your patents but they will steal it and then pat change it and patent it a different change it way just the slightest bit and try to shut your company down like this is unbelievable and how crazy this has gone on for so long yeah so i hope the u.s is not the only country that starts to slam the chinese communist party india has already slapped them in the face and we need to be next and yeah. it needs to be like a lot it needs and it to be, needs to be like now yeah it needs to be on apps it needs to be on trade i mean there's just so much and yeah i can't believe this has been going on for so long that we've been in the dark so hopefully the covid19 was a wake-up call and to everyone you know hunter virus and swine, swine virus and, and the... ebola Bull. <laughs> Anyways, the, one virus after the, the other thing. that seems yeah. to be coming out of there. So we need to get on top of this. We need to find out where the investigation is starting in there, and it needs to start now. Yeah. Because not only are they taking trade secrets, but they're killing people worldwide with whatever they're doing in China. Hopefully we'll get some answers soon. Yeah. And uh, hopefully we'll also see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.